Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp Console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this video, we're going to learn how to ask for input from the user, validate the data, and cast it into the appropriate data type. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So here we have our text prompts. What I want to do is ask the user for some information and then just print it back out to, to see we actually got it. So let's ask for their age. Well, normally you'd say console.readline and capture the value, cast it to an int. You'd make sure that you need to try parse and make sure all that. Don't you do that? Watch int age equals ansi console dot prompt. Actually, let's do ask first. We're going to ask for type int, and we're going to say uh, what is your age? Okay, and then we'll ask as well: Are they happy? Or ask for a boolean just to have something different. So bool um, is happy equals ANSI console dot ask for a boolean type. Are you happy? And that will then allow us to print out. Let's just do a. We're not going to worry about um, formatting this, but we'll say ANSI console dot uh, markup line and Let's do string interpolation, which we can do. Happy, and then we'll say uh, is happy. And then after that, we're going to put um, a new line. So slash n and say age, and we'll say age, like so. So there's our, our first demo. Let's see how it works. So what's your age? Well, I'm going to give a bad age first, T-E-N invalid input. We, we didn't code that. It's already in place. And notice it's a red text, which means it's an error text. Cool. So I'm going to put in 46. Are you happy? Um, yes, uh, that's invalid input. Are you happy? True. Okay. Happy is true and age is 46. Cool. So that works. And it also validates our input. So we don't have to worry about all of that work. I mean, honestly, if using console applications with input, this is worth the price of admission, which by the way is free, but um, this allows you to do data validation on your data and cast it to the right type without any headache. So boom, done. But we're not done because that was kind of clunky to say, are you happy? And then say true or false. That's not really how we ask, are you happy? So let's try that again. And instead of a Boolean, I'm going to ask for a string. Um, and we're going to call this um, happy text because I'm not sure um, how else to call it. So we're going to say I want the um, ANSI console dot prompt. So instead of doing an ask, which allows it just inline, say what type it is, and then the the you know, what we're going to give, we're going to say prompt. And I'm going to do this on new line. So let's, let's um, put a couple of lines here because we're saying new text prompt. And these will all be text prompts, but in this case, we're going to say string is a type. Okay. Now you could, um, you could do an int here or a bool or anything else. It's still a text prompt because the prompt is what you're typing out to the console. So the type is what you put inside angle brackets. So we're going to say, um, are you happy? Like before, but I want to give them some choices. So we're going to say add choice and we'll say yes. And another choice, add choice, no. So now what's going to happen is we're going to be able to print off this happy with a yes or a no. So let's save this and run it. So let's bring our console here and run this. And now age 46, are you happy? Notice it says in, in square brackets, yes or no. If I type true now, 
please select one of the available options. I type yes, happy is yes, and age is 46 now. So now we have a prompt that allows us to um, say yes or no instead of true or false. Now let's go a step further and say, what if you want to have a default choice? Well, we can say default value and then say yes. By default, yeah, you're happy. Now let's run this again real quick just so we can see it. What is your age? And are you happy? Let's just hit enter and watch what happened to that line. I didn't type YES, but it put YES there because that was the default. So just by hitting enter, it put the default value, which is in the parentheses. So that allows us to have a default value. You can have multiple choices, more choices. You can have different types here for, instead of string, you have integers, booleans, whatever else. But let's go one further and look at this age. Let's comment this out. And we're going to do the age again int age equals and see console dot prompt. And we're going to say, um, let's do a new line so we can have the space we need uh, new text prompt of type int. So what is your age? So, so far we've just duplicated what we already had before it worked, it worked the same way, but now we're going to validate it. Now it's already validating if it's a valid integer, but age is a bit more, um, you can put more boundaries around it. So for example, we can say if you're lower than zero or above 120, that's invalid age. So validate and let's pass in the value of X and say, we're going to do a switch expression on X, which if you've been watching my YouTube channel, um, you will know how switch expressions work. Um, if not, then you can go watch that video. We're going to say less than zero. We'll do the, um, the arrow here and say validation result dot error and say, you were not born yet. And then we're going to put a comma and say greater than, let's go to 120, um, saying that maybe over 120 is probably um, too old. Uh, you are too old. And then we're going to have one more, which is the default. So that's the discard character. And we're going to say validation result dot success, like so. And we can just close out that parentheses for validate. And now what we have is not just a text prompt for an integer saying, what's your name, but an integer that's within a certain range. In this case, it's within the zero to 120 range, because anything below zero is you're not born yet. Anything above 120 is you're too old. And otherwise you got success. So let's save this. Let's come back over here and run it again. And this time, what is your age? I forgot the question mark, but let's just say my age is negative one. You're not born yet. What's your age? 150. You're too old. What's your age? Uh, 10. Test. Invalid input. What's your age? 46. Are you happy? Happy, yes, age 46. So there we go. We've got the ability to validate our our values that come back as well. There's a lot more stuff you can do with both prompt and ask. Ask is a simple one. Ask just says, hey, what's the type you want? And then what's the question you're gonna ask? By the way, let's put, put our question mark here. Um, but when it comes to you know, prompt, you can do a lot more things with validation, with adding choices, with adding default values, and so on. So this really takes your ability to ask for input from the user to the next level and allows you to have some of that validation logic around it by default, as well as, um, additional logic that you apply to that. You could do this on text or on anything else as well and have some really intense validation if you really wanted to. But most of the, the boilerplate stuff is written for you so you don't have to worry about it. All right, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.